We have been following since it launched the Perseverance rover on Mars and talking to the scientists who are involved. Well, a bit of exciting news as Laura McQuillan joins me because we're seeing some new images that give us a, a sense of what Mars looked like gajillions of years ago, uh, Laura, but also intriguing signs of life. Tell us this breaking news. Right, so to have life on Mars, you need to have water. And now scientists believe they have picture proof of sorts from the Perseverance rover that there was indeed a famous crater that used to be a lake fed by small rivers. Now, you're looking at the images captured by the Perseverance here. It might just look like a pile of rocks to you, but I am going to explain exactly what you're looking at. You see those sort of ridges on that hill. Well, what we are now hearing from NASA scientists is this is a shot of the Jezero crater where the rover landed back in February, it's back inside, those are layers of sediment and rock. Now, uh, in terms of what that means, well, scientists believe that there are escarpments, or rather were escarpments, uh, cliffs where the water uh, led this to the sediment formation when it was at the mouth of a river. And this gives them a more conclusive idea of how the water would have flowed into that crater or that lake. And I want to show you one specific rock formation in particular. It's so important it has its own name. It's called Kodiak. You're looking at it at the bottom of your screen there on the left. Now, b based on the images of Kodiak showing the order and position of its rock layers, NASA is saying that it's similar to what a geologist would expect to see in a river delta on Earth. So more evidence that this was indeed a lake which had rivers flowing into it. And scientists now saying that the presence of rocks like Kodiak and others are signs that there were major floods on Mars, potentially one major flash flood, somewhat uh, in the area of its late life of this lake. They believe that flooding or that one flood would have carried rocks and debris into the lake, leading to these incredible formations that you're now seeing on your screen. They also believe, based on what they're seeing there with the sediment and the rocks, that the lake's size fluctuated greatly over its lifetime. So at times it was low, at times it was high, and then the water disappeared entirely. And that's the big question now for these scientists. Where did the water go? What caused it to go? Was it changes in the regional climate on Mars? They hope to find out all of that. So while Perseverance is in the Jezero crater, it's going to be collecting sediment and rock samples, sending those back to Earth for analysis and hoping to find out, is there a hint of ancient life in there, Heather? And I know that when we get an update on that front, it will likely be you and me bringing that news. So I'll keep you posted, but really exciting developments from the NASA crew behind this rover, discovering what they believe is confirmation that there was water on the red planet. It is exciting, Laura. Thank you for uh, sharing that story. Laura McQuillan with the latest from NASA.